traveling south through the hinterlands to the ruin of Ostagar, on the edges of the Korkari Wilds. The Tevinter Imperium built Ostagar long ago to prevent the Wilders from invading the northern lowlands. It's fitting we make our stand here, even if we face a different foe within that forest. The King's forces have clashed with the Darkspawn several times, but here is where the bulk of the Horde will show itself. There are only a few Grey Wardens within Ferelden at the moment, but all of us are here. This blight must be stopped, here and now. If it spreads to the north, Ferelden will fall. Ho there, Duncan. King Caelan. I didn't expect a... A royal welcome? I was beginning to worry you'd miss all the fun. Not if I could help it, Your Majesty. Then I'll have the mighty Duncan at my side in battle after all. Glorious. The other wardens told me you'd found a promising recruit. I take it this is he? Allow me to introduce you, Your Majesty. No need, Duncan. You are Bryce's youngest, are you not? I don't think we've ever actually met. Uh, no, Your Majesty, we haven't, and uh, my name is Aiden. Your brother has already arrived with High Ender's men, but we are still awaiting your father. He's not coming. He died when our castle was taken by Hal. Dead? What do you mean? Duncan, do you know anything about this? Terran Kuzland and his wife are dead, Your Majesty. Arl Howe has shown himself a traitor and overtaken High Ever Castle. Had we not escaped, he would have killed us and told you any story he wished. I can scarcely believe it. Well, how could he think he could get away with such treachery? As soon as we are done here, I will turn my army north and bring Howe to justice. You have my word. And what kind of justice is that? He will hang. I know that will not bring your family back, but how will not profit from this. No doubt you wish to see your brother. Unfortunately, he and his men are scouting in the wilds. I'm not eager to tell him. Of that, I have no doubt. You will see him again once the battle is over, I am certain. I apologize, but there's nothing more I can do. All I can suggest is that you vent your grief against the Darkspawn for the time being. So long as Hal pays... I'll do that. I'm sorry to cut this short, but I should return to my tent. Loghain waits eagerly to bore me with his strategies. Your uncle sends his greetings and reminds you that Redcliffe forces could be here in less than a week. Ha! <laughs> Eamon just wants in on the glory. We've won three battles against these monsters, and tomorrow should be no different. I didn't realize things were going so well. At least something's going right. I'm not even sure this is a true blight. There are plenty of Darkspawn on the field, but alas, we've seen no sign of an Archdemon. Disappointed, Your Majesty? I'd hoped for a war like in the Tales. A king riding with the fabled Grey Wardens against a tainted god. But I suppose this will have to do. I must go before Loghain sends out a search party. Farewell, Grey Wardens. <laughs> What the King said is true. They've won several battles against the Darkspawn here. And yet you don't sound very reassured. Despite the victory so far, the Darkspawn horde grows larger with each passing day. By now they look to outnumber us. I know there is an archdemon behind this, but I cannot ask the King to act solely on my feeling. Why not? He seems to regard you highly. Yet not enough to wait for reinforcements from the Grey Wardens of Orlais. He believes our legend alone makes him invulnerable. Our numbers in Ferelden are too few. We must do what we can, and look to Terran Loghain to make up the difference. To that end, we should proceed with the joining ritual without delay. What? What, Mitchell? What? Every recruit must go through a secret ritual we call the joining, in order to become a Grey Warden. Mm -hmm. The ritual is brief, but some preparation is required. We must begin soon. Alright, well, what do you need me to do? Feel free to explore the camp here as you wish. All I ask is that you do not leave it for the time being. There is another Grey Warden in the camp by the name of Alistair. When you're ready, seek him out and tell him it's time to summon the other recruits. Your hound can stay with me while I attend to some business.
The Grey Warden tent is on the other side of this bridge. You will find us there should you need to. Mm. All right. Be good, Bane. And I'm back. It's been a couple of days for me. But for you, it's been no time at all. I'm going to level up now to 20. That way, I can do things. Uh, quick stuff more easily. Combat. Ah, uh, it's a passive. Ooh, yeah, it's a passive. I could, uh, get around. What time? What, what level am I? Previous. I am level 3. I may just save that ability. I may just save that ability and get that. Then again. Ooh. I need to be able to unlock things. That's gonna be that. That's important. Unlocking things because there's gonna be so many goddamn lock chests. Um. Anyways, yes, level three, which means we have upgraded to to twenty thing, which means we can now wear pants. No, a and also really good uh, armor. The battle just a little. Look at that. It's awesome. It's fantastic. It's great stuff. Good stuff. Fantastic stuff. Amazing stuff. Awesome. Good stuff. Um, this is not as good crit chance, which is what I should be having. Oh, what do I need for that? 31 strength for Blight Blood. God, look at that thing. I don't think anybody can have that right off the bat. This is what I should be aiming for, though. 26 dexterity. I think I'll, I'll be putting some more into dexterity soon. Uh, let's put on the Pearl of the Anointed. Bam. Um, no. Yes. There we go. Um, that. And armor penetration, stamina regeneration, 10% critical. The backstab. Good. And that should be that. That's everything, right? Yes. All right. Good. We are going now. Uh, before I get started, mod changes. Um, it's kind of hard to tell, but um, I have installed, what is it called? Uh, Dragon Age redesigned. Basically, it just evens out a lot of the ugly textures and makes things, makes people look the way they're supposed to look. Um, it fixes some problems with, like, age. Like, some people are like, oh, that man over there is so old. And you go over there and he looks about as young as you. It's, yeah, it's ridiculous. So, yes, there's things like hey, that. You must be the Grey Warden recruit that Duncan brought. I am. Is that it? This place hasn't seen such bustle in centuries, I'll wager. Need a hand getting anywhere? Uh, I'm looking for a Grey Warden named Alistair. Try heading north. I think he was sent with a message to the mages. Copy that. Be on my Good way. Luck to you, then. Yes. Thank you, sir. I'm gonna go this way. Oh, dramatic music. Can I walk? No, that's saving my game. How do I walk? I need to. I need to find the walk key. Ah, apparently, clicking middle mouse. There we go. Now I can walk around, and we can be all like, "Woo woo!" We can be immersive. Hello. Greetings. King Kalen is not in his tent right now. Uh, tell me about the king. You must see him a lot. I suppose I do, but it wouldn't be prudent to discuss the king's business with you. Uh, well, do you know where he is? I believe he's with the Grey Wardens in camp, drinking. He holds them in high regard, you know, as his father did. The king's drinking. I should go. As you wish. Yes. Uh. This is much better than running around all over the place. Loghain's guard. Hello. You approach the tent of Tarn Loghain. State your business. Uh, tell me about the Tarn. How can you not know of Loghain? He helped free Ferelden. He was the brains behind King Marek's armies and drove out those damned Orlesians. King Marek rewarded him by making him a Tern. Can you imagine? A commoner became a high nobleman just like that. Without Loghain, you can bet the king wouldn't be winning against these Darkspawn. Is the Tern inside? He's inside, but I don't think it's my place to discuss his activity. 
Well, I'm sure you can tell me a little about him. Well, I suppose, as long as we talk quietly. He and the King have been arguing for days. The Tern's known the King since he was swaddled, so they don't stand on ceremony. The Tern speaks his mind, and the King yells right back. Personally, I think the King should do what Tern Logang tells him. Without the Tern, we wouldn't be doing as well here as we are. Um, I'd like an audience with the Tern, please, Tern. Don't be absurd. He can't give an audience to everyone who walks up here, you know? Uh, I'm not anyone. My father was Taren Kuzland. Oh, I didn't know. Hold on, I'll get him. Best voice actor ever. Yes, what is it? Oh, you're Duncan's new Grey Warden, I assume. Um, before I continue, the man who does this guy's voice, uh, he's my favorite voice actor ever. If for no other reason than he did the voice of Kane in the Legacy of Kane games. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, you should check those games out because they're fantastic. Uh, Kane is, of course, the Kane that I based Kane off of in my Let's Survive as a Modded Vampire series. So, yeah, this guy had a lot to do with me being here today because I wouldn't have played as a vampire without the guy voicing him. Uh, yes, yes I am. Kalen's fascination with the Wardens goes beyond the ordinary. Are you aware his father brought your order back to Ferelden? Uh, a fascination you don't share, apparently. The Wardens are impressive, but not as relevant as Kalen thinks. You look familiar. Have I seen you at the lands meet? Uh, no, my father was at- was Terran of Hyever. The King told me of his promise. I'm certain he has every intention of following it through. I don't suppose you'll be riding into the thick of battle with the rest of your fellows, will you? Um, I certainly hope so. Here for the glory, huh? Fair enough. Now I must return to my task. Pray that our king proves amenable to wisdom, if you're the praying sort. Uh, you, you don't know, and if he doesn't? Then simply pray. Oh, that voice. <laughs> As a 100% straight male, I would do things to that voice. Um, <laughs> anyways. He seems, uh, an alright sort. Little strict, but, uh, alright. And we contemplate the death that may await. Death is no failure, my friends. Should it find you, you will not have failed your king. You will have served your Maker. Ugh. Die in this battle, and when you stand before the Maker in the land beyond the fate, Aiden's a little meh about the about the, about the Maker. According to ac according to them, the the Maker abandoned us. So there is no Maker technically. So yeah, I can think of better things to do. Um, I keep doing that by mistake. Sorry. Let's take this off while we're in here. There we go. Does this even have anything on it that could help? Nope. Okay. Hello! Excuse, excuse me, I must get the hounds ready for battle. Half the dogs are sick from... Excuse me, I must oh, I didn't mean to do that. ready for battle. Alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. Half the dogs are sick from dark spawn blood. Yeah, I gotcha. Maker above, hear the prayers of your sons and daughters. We who betrayed... Hello! Greetings, young man. You are Duncan's newest recruit, are you not? He's not a man easily impressed. You should be proud. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Wynn, one of the mages summoned by the king. Uh, pleased to meet you. Well met, and good luck to you on the battlefield. To us all, in fact. Uh, will you be fighting beside the, the king, then? Not precisely. The Grey Wardens will be on the front lines, not no. the mages. Still, we have our parts to play. To defeat the Darkspawn, we have to work together. It's not an idea everyone seems able to grasp. Uh, do, why are we on the front lines? The front lines are the ones you send in to die, to weaken the enemy. So that way you can send in your real troops. Why are the Great Wardens going in first? I do not approve of this old woman. Uh, how much do you know about the Darkspawn? Some. Do you? Do you know about the connection between them and the Fade, for example? Uh, the Fade, the Fade... What's the fade got the, the fade? No. I know the fade is where you go when you dream, right? 
Anytime your spirit leaves your earthly body, whether it's to dream or to die, it passes into the realm we call the Fade. It's home to many spirits, some benevolent, others far less so. At the heart of the Fade lies the Black City. What's the Black City? Some say the Black City was once the seat of the Maker. But when the mages from the Tevinter Imperium found a way into the city, it was tainted with their sin. That taint transformed those men, turning them into twisted reflections of their own hearts. And the Maker cast them back to the Earth, where they became the first Darkspawn. At least, that's what the Chant of Light says. The Chantry says many things. It may be allegory, meant to teach us that our own evil causes human suffering. Or it may be true. It is as good an explanation as any for now. I'll just kill any dark spawn I see. A wise attitude. It's worked well for me in the past. Indeed. But I'm certain Duncan has more for you to do than talk to me. Watch over the Valiant King. Uh, there is a slight problem, I've noticed. Audio! I need that to go down just a bit. Not a whole lot, just a bit. We can bring that up a lot more. And, uh, yeah, okay. And guide him as he faces um, terrible... I did get a copyright, uh, a third, a third party strike. Not a copyright strike, but a third party strike. In part zero of this, so. Keep her people safe from the dark spawn. So we need to find these men. That he might find us worthy. The design of this game is fantastic. So, any last wishes I can help fulfill before you head into battle? Life is fleeting, you know. That pretty face could be decorating some darkspawn spear this time tomorrow. <laughs> Shall I take that quiet glare as a no? Ah, oh, well, too bad. She ain't having none of that. Well, you're not what I thought you'd be. What'd you think I'd be? Me? I was hoping for a comely lass with golden hair and terrible eyesight. <laughs> the name's Davith. <laughs> it's about bloody time you came along. I was beginning to think they cooked this ritual up just for our benefit. Uh, what do you know about this ritual? I happened to be sneaking around camp last night, see, and I heard a couple of Grey Wardens talking. So, I listen in for a bit. I'm thinking they plan to send us into the wilds. Maybe they will. So what? That wouldn't frighten me. Cannibals, beasts, witches, and now Darkspawn. What isn't to be scared of? It's all too secretive for me. Makes my nose twitch. I guess we'll have to wait and see. <laughs> like we have a choice. Uh, well, I'll watch your back if you watch mine. That's kind of what we should be doing anyways, right? I suppose I could do that. Yeah. Anyway, I expect it's time to get back to Duncan. That's where I'll be if you need me for anything. Right on, right on. Goodbye! See you soon. So on and so forth. Oh, and he's already disappeared. Hmm. Alright. Yay! Free stuff! <laughs> Hope this guy don't mind. Have you seen an elf running about? Young woman, red hair, carrying a suit of chain. <laughs> um... No? Blast it. Where did she go? That suit better be patched up when she gets back or by the maker up. No, oh, pardon my manners. My troubles are no concern of yours, I'm sure. Oh, I'm the quartermaster. Did you come for supplies? Uh, do you need help with this girl? Oh, I'm sure you have better things to do than run errands for me. I can find her myself. Um, let me see what you got. Let me know what you'd like. Okay, good, 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 good. Um, no, don't need that. Can't afford these. All that's useless. Uh, do you have any better gloves? I can't afford these anyways. Fuck. Uh. Oh, you got a backpack. Should probably save up to get those. That way I can carry more things. Um. No. No, me needing these, because I'm not a mage. Uh, could sell this, but a massive amount of 20 gold, holy fuck. Still, 
perhaps not. Uh, studded leather gloves. That's yeah, just as good as what I'm wearing, just but worse, 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 worse. No. No. Uh, let's see, anything else? Gray iron. This is slightly better, so I'll wear that. I'll use that. Don't need maces. Uh, longbow, I should keep that. Bregan's bow. I need 24 dexterity for that, so that's what my next uh, level up is going to be. Oh, I have 24. So I should be able to wear that. Um, hold on a second, my good man. Hold on. Yes! Aha! Fantastic! Good stuff. Um, dagger iron, dagger iron. Let's get rid of you. For gray iron. Yes! There we go. Let's sell Hello this. Hello again. Hello. Is there something you need? Some supplies, perhaps? Uh. Let me know what you'd like. Uh, yes. Uh, I just need to get rid of that. Now I'm good. Oh, god damn it. Hello again. Is there something you need? I, I can't skip Some this. Some supplies, perhaps? Let me know what you'd like. Uh, fair enough again. This stuff. I can get rid of this stuff. Because I don't need it now. Because I have the better bow. Look at that bad boy. Alright, so where's this other guy? We need to find one other member. And this guy named Alistair. In the name of Andraste, I bless you today. May you you, find favor in the you need to convince them. So We've got to run. The Darkspawn are coming. Um <laughs> there are Grey Wardens here, you know. The Grey Wardens will die. The King will die. We'll all die. I apologize, Warden. He's been like this ever since they found him in the wilds. What's wrong? Aside from his wounds, we're not sure. His blood is untainted. He's just... terrified. You... you can feel it, can't you? They taint the land, turn it black and sick. Oh, you can feel it inside. They'll come out of that forest and spread, like caterpillars covering a tree. They'll swallow us whole. Uh, that's quite enough out of you. You need to calm yourself, my good man. They were everywhere. I saw them. Uh huh. I apologize if the soldier disturbed I, you. I don't Ever want to see him. found him in the wilds. He's been like. I oh, close my eyes and can't it's feel so it. Sad. Oh Please God, he lost his dick. That's horrible. Hmm. Ah, I suspect you are one of the new Grey Wardens. Will you accept the Maker's blessing? Well, I doubt he'd actually bless us since he abandoned us, but... It, it won't hurt. Then I bless you, Grey Warden, in the name of Andraste and the Maker above. May the Chant of Light carry your name to the ears of our Lord. Great! It'd be cool if that actually buffed me, but it probably didn't. Ah! Greetings. You must be the third recruit we've heard about. Indeed! I'm Aiden. Sir Jury is my name. I hail from Redcliffe, where I served as knight under the command of Arl Eamon. You have the bearing of a man who knows how to fight. If I may ask, were you a soldier before you came here? Uh, no. No. My, my father did train me to fight, however. Are you a nobleman? I am honored to be in your company, my lord. I hope we're both lucky enough to eventually join the Wardens. Is it not thrilling to be given that chance? Uh... Let's see... Uh... Uh, you're not all that smart, are you? Um... Uh, yes! Actually, yeah, I'm looking... I'm looking forward to it. I've, I've certainly come around to the idea of joining the Grey Wardens. Uh, seeing as how there's really no choice left. It's my only lot in life now. So, might as well make the most of it, right? I fought hard to get here. Impressing Duncan was not easy. Tell me, has anyone told you what this joining ritual entails? Uh, it's, it's all a big secret, really. I never heard of such a ritual. I had no idea there were more tests after getting recruited. 
I suppose since you're finally here, I'd best get back to Duncan. I shall see you there. Indeed. Huh. Someone finally comes and talks to the lone prisoner. I don't suppose you've come to sentence me. Uh... You haven't been sentenced? No. They put someone like me in a cage until someone important has time to decide what to do with me. I don't suppose you have a bit of kindness in you? All I want is food and water. They haven't fed me since I was locked up and I'm starving. Uh, tell me why you're there. I'm a deserter. Or so they think. I bet there's no arguing them out of it, though. Armies are funny that way. Well, did you desert? I wasn't deserting. But when you catch someone sneaking around camp in the middle of the night, what else are you gonna think? Does it matter? All I want is a bit of food and water. Uh, it matters to me if, you're, if your cause is just. <laughs> you're a funny one. They won't listen to you no matter what you think. Not that I wouldn't mind you trying. You're a good sort. Am I? And it's not as if they're wrong. I probably would have deserted later. Just not when they caught me is all. Hope that doesn't spoil your opinion of me. I'm still hungry enough to eat my shoe. Oh, and why would I want to do that? Because you might want something I don't need. Them circle wizards got a chest they keep things in. Magical things. And I stole the key. Oh. That's why I'm here. I got one of them drunk, took his key and tried to sneak to the chest. They assumed I was deserting. I can't use it from here. But I'd trade you for some food and water. <sighs> so they didn't find the key when you were arrested? I swallowed it. But it's... Uh come back into my possession oh. since then, oh. so to speak. Oh. Kill him and take the key. That's kind of gross, man. Yeah, well, do you want the key or not? Well, did you wash it off in your piss at least? Jesus. Well, my father taught me to be a just and noble lord, so... No need to s torture prisoners and all that. I'll see what I can do. Just ask my guard for his. He's still got some dinner. I saw him put it in his coat. This guy? Lucky dog. You great wardens get to ride with the king while I'm left with the drudgery of guarding this deserter. They should have just hanged him. Put his head on a pike as an example. Bit harsh. Um. Just seems like a waste for you to guard him all day. I can't just let him go, can I? The army will figure out what to do with him. Probably just waiting for someone important to make a decision. Then they'll hang him, I expect. And I can go and do something else. Um. Who is he, exactly? They say he was recruited before the war up in Dinnerham. Probably figured he'd never have to fight if he served the king, right? Why would he want to... to desert? Why does anyone want to desert? Because he thinks he's going to die and he's a bloody coward, that's why. Either that or he's been listening to a bunch of hogwash about how the Darkspawn will drag you off and eat you. Uh, that's not hogwash. They... they will do that. If, if they... if they get a hold of you. Um... But I had a chat with him, actually. Don't expect it was an enlightening conversation. Um, he claims he wasn't deserting. What a surprise. Another innocent prisoner. At any rate, it's not for me to say. He'll get his day to plead his case, or he won't. It's all the same to me. Uh, yeah, but all he, all he really wants is some food and water. I mean, he's already in the cage. What, 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 what harm can it, can it give? Did he now? Since nobody sends me nothing to feed him with, the only way we'll get that is if I give him mine. So you missed one meal. This man can be hanged soon. So? It's not up to me to make sure he gets fed. Aw, oh, you're just a fucking horrible sack of shit, aren't you? How about ten silver sound? How, how's that? Hmm. Ten silver. Well, feed him if you want to. I had nothing to do with it, though. If anyone asks why he's burping, I'm gonna say it was you. Just so you know. Yes, I'm sure you'd get in massive amounts of trouble for giving the man some bread. Fucking... The epitome of kindness right there. Hello? So? Brought me some food, have you? 
I'm so hungry I could faint dead away. Um. Sorry, now I can just keep the food apparently. But no, here's 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 some food. Much obliged. May Andraste herself rain blessings upon you. And as I mentioned, here's the key. Use it in good health, huh? Alright, well, I got a thing. My belly thanks you. At least if I'm hanged, I'll have a little weight on me. Ha! Ha! Ah, you got good spirits. Uh, now, but now I'm kind of depressed, because, yeah. Okay, so, these mages have some kind of chest. Who knows what could be in there? Enchanted armor. Ooh, I could do some enchanted gloves. Um, oh, daggers. Oh, that'd be good. That course of act. That course of action is inadvisable. Nothing to steal. Welcome, young man. Uh, I should go. Goodbye. Yeah. I have no interest in talking with the tranquil. Oh, look at the mages back there. You tranquil are fucking scary and creepy. I'm leaving. <laughs> ah! What is it now? Haven't Grey Wardens asked more than enough of the Circle? I simply came to deliver a message from the revered mother, Sir Mage. She desires your presence. What her reverence desires is of no concern to me. I am busy helping the Grey Wardens by the King's orders, I might add. Should I have asked her to write a note? Tell her I will not be harassed in this manner. Yes, I was harassing you by delivering a message. Your glibness does you no credit. Here I thought we were getting along so well. I was even going to name one of my children after you. The grumpy one. <laughs> Enough. I will speak to the woman if I must. Get out of my way, fool. You know... One good thing about the Blight is how it brings people together. I know exactly what you mean. It's like a party. We could all stand in a circle and hold hands. That would give the Darkspawn something to think about. Wait, we haven't met, have we? I don't suppose you happen to be another mage. Um, no, no, we haven't met. You must be fool, according to that man. Or Alistair, one of the two. And that makes you Duncan's new recruit, I suppose. Glad to meet you. As the junior member of the Order, I'll be accompanying you when you prepare for the joining. Um, well, I'm pleased to meet you. I'm Maiden. Right. That was the name. Yes. So I'm curious. Have you ever actually encountered Darkspawn before? No. When I fought my first one, I wasn't prepared for how monstrous it was. I can't say I'm looking forward to encountering another. Anyhow... Whenever you're ready, let's get back to Duncan. I imagine he's eager to get things started. Um, that argument, what, what, what was going on there? With the mage. The circle is here at the king's request, and the Chantry doesn't like that one bit. They just love letting mages know how unwelcome they are. Which puts me in a bit of an awkward position. I was once a Templar. Yeah, I can see that would be awkward, being a mage hunter and all. Not that that's all Templars do, but yes, the Chantry raised me until Duncan recruited me six months ago. I'm sure the revered mother meant it as an insult, sending me as her messenger. What a bitch! And the mage picked right up on that. I never would have agreed to deliver it, but Duncan says we're all to cooperate and get along. Apparently they didn't get the same speech. Um... Well, I look forward to traveling with you. You do? Yeah. Huh, that's a switch. You're funny. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, lead on. All right. Quite nice. I'm a nice guy. Long sword. Might want a long sword instead. Does more damage. Bit less crit chance, but uh, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna. I'm. Gonna, I'm doing it. I'm gonna do it. Put that there. There we go. Now, look at that. Much better. 
less crit chance, but uh, you don't need you don't need all that much crit chance, even though that's kind of what rogues do. So I'm gonna have to come back at some other time and deal with that, aren't I? Uh, Alistair, you have uh, gear. That's one way of putting it. No, you're not having my helmet. Uh, oh, yes. Let's see. You need... That could be good for you. Oh, nope, that, that, that's yours. That's your coin. You can you can keep that. Um, you can have that. And... Spell resistance, mental resistance. You can have that. Fantastic. Yes! Fantastic! Excellent. Well done. Let's go, uh... Talk with Duncan. You found Alistair, did you? Yes. Good. I'll assume you're ready to begin preparations. Assuming, of course, that you're quite finished riling up mages, Alistair. Oh. What can I say? The revered mother ambushed me. The way she wields guilt, they should stick her in the army. She forced you to sass the mage, did she? We cannot afford to antagonize anyone, Alistair. We don't need to give anyone more ammunition against us. You're right, Duncan. I apologize. Now then, since you're all here, we can begin. You four will be heading into the Kokari Wilds to perform two tasks. The first is to obtain three vials of darkspawn blood. One for each recruit. And the second? There was once a Grey Warden archive in the wilds, abandoned long ago when we could no longer afford to maintain such remote outposts. It has recently come to our attention that some scrolls have been left behind, magically sealed to protect them. Alistair, I want you to retrieve these scrolls if you can. Find the scrolls, three vials of blood, got it. The scrolls contain treaties promising support, treaties that may prove valuable in the days to come. Watch over your charges, Alistair. Return quickly and safely. We will. Then may the Maker watch over your path. I will see you when you return. Alright, so... We got our four members here. Let's go over uh, the types. We got Sword and Board. He's definitely our tank. We got me. I, I go where is needed, really. Preferably behind so I can stab them. Uh, this guy can just fucking whack him in the face with his big old sword, and this guy stays in the back and peppers him with damage. Alright. Mostly just damage dealing and a tank. But, uh, we can make do, I, fair, I dare say. Oh, that, that's a oh, weird sound, bud. Oh, there we go. You there, elf. What's your name? No. Oh, don't be rude. It, it, it's pick, sir. May the Maker preserve us all. They yeah. say the Darkspawn Horde has grown larger. Yes, yes, yes. <gasps> doggy! Oh, Doggy. Hail. Hail. I'm told you all have business in the wilds. The gate's open for you. Just be careful out there. Even a Grey Warden won't be safe in the forest tonight. Fair enough. Load screen. <laughs> 